Your PC services is the only reason you have so much delay. These are the only services that are fully holding you back. And boys, in this video, I'll be telling you the most unnecessary services that you guys have to disable. If you want the highest frames, the lowest delay possible, boys, these are the services that every single pro has turned off. And I really, really do recommend you guys to turn off as well. If I can ask for one thing on return, if you can quickly leave a like on this video, quickly subscribe to my channel as I bring some of the best PC tweaks on YouTube. But without further ado, I'm not going to waste time anymore. Let's get straight into these services that you guys should disable for your maximum frames. Okay, so the first thing you guys are gonna to want to do whilst you're on the desktop just like so, head over to the bottom, click onto Task Manager, right click, click on Task Manager, go on CPU, obviously right here says your CPU and all that. Processors, boys, remember, we need this number to be low as possible. Remember, the more processors, the more strain on your CPU and GPU. And one of the main reasons for these high processors, I bet some of you watching this video on like 200, 250 processors, the reason for this is because of the services. Look, I'll make this full screen for you guys. Look how many are running right here. Obviously. I have most of them stopped, most of them disabled, because I know which one this is disabled, and I'll talk you through it through this video. But look how many there are. All of these running in the background of your PC. So today, we'll fully fix this. So one thing you want to do, click on services at the top. Now, once you're on this page, this is where everything happens. Now, boys, you need to follow along carefully. So the first one we're going to be looking at is Adobe Update Service. Now, remember, like I say in the before services video, if there's some that I'm not sure if you should disable or not, I'm going to tell you clearly. So disable or not disable. So make sure you don't skip any of this video, because some of these could be important for you but for me they're not and most of them they will be completely unnecessary just like this one so i'm not going to let you know much about it because obviously completely unnecessary you don't need these so adobe update service go on to properties one thing you need to do start a type disable don't worry i'm not going to walk you through it every single time i'll just tell you the name in just a second but for the first one for the people that don't know how to disable a service i'm going to walk you through it service status as well this has to be stopped if it's ongoing or says a timer right here literally simple as this click the stop button right here it will say stop and then you can start a type then go on to disable, then press OK, and then done. Just like so. Now, I'm just going to let you know the names. And remember, if there's some that I don't know if you should do or not, I'll let you, let, you know, let you know as soon as possible. So the first one, Adobe Update Service. Then we'll go down to Al Aljoy Router Service. Then another one, Auto Time Zone. One above that, Assigned Access Manager Service. And also, boys, this will be quite fast because if I wait here all day, if I was to speak slowly, this video would be like two hours long. But now the next one we need to disable, Connected User Experiences and telemetry make sure to disable that one then we'll scroll down a bit more until the diagnostic execution service disable that one diagnostic service host disable diagnostic system safe host disable that dialogue blocking service we can disable that as you see three of the diagnostic ones we can disable download maps manager this is the first one where i'm not sure if you guys should do or not for me i do not use maps on my pc and i'm pretty sure most of you guys don't as well if this is enabled in other words in literally in the background of your pc it will be downloading maps around the world obviously like new photos that will be coming out just anything like that so obviously i don't want that on my pc so literally disable it just like so but obviously if you use maps on your pc do not disable that one geolocation service literally same way your pc is pretty much disable that one don't need that one at all scrolling down microsoft app v client disable that one microsoft update health we can disable that net tcp and net logon both disable that so many people say keep that enabled but honestly boys you don't need that disable that your pc will run so much smoother now next one open sssh disable that one scroll down a bit more parental controls another one which i don't know if you should do or not if you have parental controls on your pc do not disable this but for me i don't have parental controls most of you watching this video will not have parental control as well so let's just disable that one massive delay this one gives you as well by the way now remote desktop configuration remote desktop services obviously if you use a desktop remotely make sure you do not disable this because this will mess so much things up it did for me in the past when i did use my pc remotely but obviously i don't anymore so i can disable this so remember most of you just trying to play fortnite or any other game you can disable this you don't need to worry about anything like that remote registry we can disable that one as well keep scrolling down and see shared pc account manager obviously if you have a shared pc account literally says the name do not disable this because you want this enabled but for me i do not use my i do not use i do not have a shared pc account so literally disable it just like so next one sys main now so many other pc tweakers saying have this on have this off massive debate in the pc tweaking community for me i'm on the disable side i don't think you should have this enabled if we literally look at the top right here maintains and improves some performance over time in my opinion it literally makes no difference to your pc only thing it's doing is bottlenecking every single component in your pc obviously not by a lot just by that tiny tiny bit but it's literally that tiny tiny bit that will give you so many more frames so in my opinion you're literally just turn it off boys you don't need this on sys main make sure to disable it themes i don't use any themes on my pc you can disable that one user experience fertilization service disable that one wallet service i don't use a wallet on my pc but if some of you do this isn't the crypto wallet anything like that this is literally like any other wallet it's not 
crypto one so make sure you disable this one if you're not using it another one windows biometric service you can disable that one heading down a bit more windows error reporting literally in the title right there reports errors back to windows you don't need that literally you guys know how much these services cause processes strain on your cpu it is so bad for your pc literally right here every single little error will be reported back to windows most people don't know about these services that's why they don't disable them next one windows mobile hotspot boys this is another one which kind of did mess with me a little bit as one point my wi-fi shut off i couldn't connect to my pc with my phone with my hotspot this was literally why because i forgot i disabled this so if you use hotspot on your pc do not disable this but most of you literally always have wi-fi same as me i always have wi-fi but ever if you do want to connect with hotspot you need to go back into your services properties and enable it okay boys you need to remember that if you want hotspot into your pc if anything happens to your wi-fi enable this one right here this is the reason it won't work now scrolling down a bit more windows search can disable that one scrolling down a tiny bit more work folders obviously if you have work folders literally in the title do not disable it now probably the most of all the xbox accessory xbox live and then three the two other xbox live as well so the four xbox lives at the bottom you can disable them as well now once you have done that that's about like 35 to 40 services which is absolutely crazy remember make sure you have not missed any because some of them are super important they do cause so much strain so make sure you do not miss any now once you have done that we can close this close that and that is the services you need to disable but we're not done just yet now what you guys need to do is head over to the description of this youtube video and i'll leave a link to my discord channel so make sure you join this discord channel with over 3,000 members in what we need to do now is head over to the announcements page once we're on the announcements page there's going to be a line of code right here i'm not going to do anything to it obviously i'm not going to delete it what we want to do now is control c to copy it now you might be thinking what we're going to do with this line of code so simple head over to the search bar cmd command prompt will come up run as administrator click yes make sure it's run as admin you'll know if it says admin right here once you have done that control v press enter it literally won't say anything crazy by the way these are more services in the background on your pc it's just disabling it just by using lines of code which we couldn't do from doing it manually on the task manager obviously you know it's done when it just says okay i know it's not crazy by the way it doesn't say i'll oh, complete it successfully just okay full stop i've done no idea why it says that second one disable rss make sure you copy the second line of code control c enter just like that okay go back onto it disable auto tuning control c boom boom once you've done those three it's literally as simple as that by the way getting the code from the discord channel putting it into cmd and then pressing enter presses okay now those are three more done so now we're almost at 40 services just like that done now one thing you guys need to do as well just before you end go into task manager go into performance cpu right here now most of you might be thinking just seeing this instantly Ginji, your processes are exactly the same as when you started boys you need to restart your pc once you restart your pc this is when all of it will take it into place now remember at the start when i said check your processes once you restart i want to tell you i want to see what your processes are then it should be around 100 105 now let me know down in the comments if your processes have gone lower and if they have please please do remember to leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the discord channel if this did work for you but once you have done all that that is that video to complete i'll see you guys further on this week make sure you stay tuned because more videos are coming up crazy